If you keep thinking the only way you can ever be content and happy is when everything feels good and is the way you want it to be, then, I mean, you're just really in for a rough ride. I know because I tried that for a long time. I mean, you know, I come to you now after 41 years of teaching the Word, and I'm not coming to you with just something I got out of a book. I mean, I've lived this stuff, and I started out a real mess and very unhappy, and I mean, probably just about any kind of problem you've got here tonight, I had it. And I'm really not exaggerating. I mean, I was a mess. I was abused by my dad, abandoned by my mother, married the first guy that came along. He mistreated me. So I know what it's like to have a life that's all messed up. But I know that I know that I know that the Word of God works if you work the Word. But it's so important for all of us to understand that it's not just hearing the Word that changes our lives. It's doing the Word that changes our lives. You can even have most of the Bible memorized and that in itself won't change your life if you're not willing to go out and do what you hear. Amen? So I think it's time to get about some doing. I want stability in my life, and I finally have it. I, Dave said to me, I mean, when we first got married, I was so up and down emotionally and just all over the place, bad mood, good mood, rarely, mostly bad moods. <laughs> and he didn't, he didn't say this to me at the time, but years later after I got better, he said, you know, I used to drive home from work at night and think, I wonder what she'll be like tonight. You know, that's, that's not a good way for anybody to have to live. And so, just loving on you tonight, just want to say that if you're not a very stable person, if you're kind of up and down and your circumstances are up, you're okay, and when they're not, you bottom out, why don't you make tonight a time where you make a decision that you're really going to start letting God into your life in those areas and really let Him help you and teach you how you can learn to really love the life that you have. You know, wishing is useless. The word's not in the Bible. There's no chapter on wishing. There's no scripture on wishing. You know, lazy people wish. But determined people go to work and they get it done. We hope you enjoyed this teaching. To get more from Joyce, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.